Hey there, Giants. I'm Jack Sinatra, and this is Redwood TV Season 10, Episode 23. Now, before Redwood was built, the voters actually voted to have it built on a marshland that was deemed unusable until the Save the Bay Foundation in 1961. Now let's take a look at an announcement from one of our clubs, Tupi. My name's Megan Minturn. My name's Nick. Hi, my name is Bridget. My name is Michael Daney. Hey Giants, I'm Avery and I'm a member of an organization here at Redwood called TUPI, which stands for the Tobacco Use Prevention Education Team. We are a combined group of juniors and seniors that work to research, plan, and present to various groups around Marin about the impact of nicotine and tobacco use on teens. Each year we present to middle schools around Marin, to Redwood High School freshmen, as well as attend and present at conferences. It's a really great opportunity not only for yourself but also looking forward for college. It's a great opportunity for present presentation skills. We have a diverse group of members each with different experiences and stories. We've had an incredible team this year that has been working on projects through influencing them through social media, um, internship opportunities, and further research on health effects on tobacco and nicotine. You know the Tupi team creates such a great community and that's why we're really great at what we do because our team is such a is such a close-knit group of people. And this spring, we're looking forward to taking in new members. So if you are a sophomore or a junior, you can fill out an application, which will be sent to your student emails and available on the Redwood website. Applications are due by Wednesday, April 14th. We're looking forward to hearing from you. Bye, Giants. Thanks, guys. Be sure to sign up if you're interested. Wellness is going to be offering to-go wellness kits if you attend school in person. If you're not attending school in person, then you can pick them up at the dates listed below. If you can't make those dates, then email jkennybaum at tamdistrict.org for other times. Now it's time for Cooking with Kira. Take it away. Hey Giants, welcome back to Cooking with Kira. Today, we are gonna be making cake in a mug, and I'm actually gonna be doing this by myself today, and we're gonna make three recipes. The first recipe we're gonna make is vanilla, and then our second one is gonna be a, a really fun Oreo one, and our third is gonna be like a chocolate chip one. So let's get started. For the vanilla one, first we're gonna take all of our dry ingredients, a half a cup of flour, And then next we're gonna do two tablespoons of sugar. Baking powder, so we're gonna do a fourth teaspoon. All right, and then you're gonna do a dash of salt. And then next you're gonna do two teaspoons, or two tablespoons of butter melted. And you're gonna mix that all together. All right, and next you're gonna do three tablespoons of milk. All right, and then we're gonna do half a teaspoon of vanilla. All right, and now we're gonna put our sprinkles. So I'm just gonna mix that in, and then our next step is we're gonna put it in the microwave for a minute. We stirred it a little bit, so it's not like presentation-wise, not that cute, but here it is. This is your vanilla mug cake with sprinkles. All right, our next one is probably my most favorite one. It's our Oreo mug cake. So first you're gonna take about four Oreos, put them in your mug, and then you're gonna smush them together. You're gonna smush them in the thing. Our next step is we're gonna take a fourth of a cup of milk. Okay, next we're gonna do one tablespoon of sugar. I'm also gonna do a tablespoon of flour, and then I'm gonna mix. Next I'm gonna grab my uh, one teaspoon of cocoa powder. I'm doing the Hershey's one, as you can see here. I'm gonna plop that in, and I'm gonna stir. And then I'm also gonna add my half teaspoon of baking powder in as well. All right, and last but not least, we're gonna take another Oreo and we're gonna sink it at the bottom of the mug. Okay, so we just took it out of the microwave and it's supposed to look like this. It looks delicious. All right, and our last one that we're doing is gonna be the chocolate chip one. So first off, we're gonna start with a fourth a cup of flour. All right, so I'm grabbing my two tablespoons of cocoa powder and putting one in there. And then I'm gonna do another like that. Alrighty, and then our next one is gonna be a fourth teaspoon of baking powder. And then we're gonna take uh, two tablespoons of sugar, and then we're gonna put in an eighth teaspoon of salt. Um, and then next, yeah, everything's spilling all over the place. What's new? Kira is a little bit of a messy cup. Um, next, we're gonna do our fourth cup of milk. 
Okay, and then next we're gonna do our two tablespoons of vegetable oil. We are gonna just mix that up really quick. And just like the other mud cakes, we're gonna put it in the microwave for about 60, 60 seconds. All right, so we have our three final products. All right, we're gonna taste the vanilla one first. Not really my favorite, it's a little bit bland, I think. And the next one we have is the Oreo one, so I'm gonna give that one a go. That's so good, insane. All right, and lastly, we are gonna try chocolate chip one. It kinda looks like tiramisu, so I'm gonna give that a little bite. Oh, that one's pretty good too. This one tastes like more, more like chocolate cake. This one definitely tastes like very Oreo-y, of course. Um, and then this one needs a little bit more vanilla, but I think it has potential. Alrighty, Giants, thank you so much for watching Cooking with Kira this week. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next week. Bye, Giants. Thanks, Kira. If I had a microwave, I'd make that. Now, speaking of food, there will be a food drive from March 29th to April 2nd. The food they need the most is listed below. Also, CASP tests will be taken online by juniors this year and they will be taken on Monday, April 12th and Monday, April 19th. That's all for today, Giants. And remember, I'm Jack. And for those of you that bet I wouldn't get the Redwood TV gig, you owe me five beach bucks each. I'll see you after this.